See, in me, the fullness of God dwells. Say it, in me, the fullness of God dwells through my union with Christ. Say, I am complete in Christ. You know what that means? Everything you need, everything you're going to be, everything that you want, all by the grace and the message of God are complete in you through your union with Christ. All God's promises have been fulfilled in Christ. All. I didn't say that. Listen, in 2 Corinthians 1.20, in the Amplified Version, it says, for as many as are the promises of God, in fact, I want us to read this together so that it's not just me making these things up. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, let's read together. For as many as are the promises of God, let's read, they all find their yes in him, Christ. What do they find? Their yes. So if God promised something in the Old Testament and promised something that was going to happen to you through Christ, what does the Bible say? They've all found their fulfillment in Christ. And so when you're in Christ, God has said yes. Before you even say, can I do? Yes. And then Paul says something interesting. He says, for this reason, we also utter amen to God. So that's all you should be saying. Amen. God says I'm head and not tail. Amen. God says I'm first and not last. Amen. God says I'm wealthy. Amen. God says I'm healed. Are we going to say amen this morning? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. What promises pertain to you from God's word relating to the new creation? Listen to this. He has said a big fat yes in Christ. You know, this is incredible. A big fat yes. You know, sometimes when people go for the X factor, they have to sing first before the judges then go a big fat yes. Even before you came on the scene and said anything because of Christ, God said a big fat yes to everything, all his promises. So a promise is something that is yet to happen, right? But in Christ, it's already done. It's already fulfilled. Can I call up Sarah right now, please, for my illustration? Thank you, Sarah, for agreeing to do this. So in front of me, I have a goodie bag. And we all love goodie bags, isn't it? When I go for a conference, even if it's just one pen and one pencil in the bag, I'm like, oh my God, I want my bag, I want my bag. We love presents, don't we? We love presents. So I go for a conference or, and even if the book they've given me is rubbish, you know, I just like the fact that I get a freebie. We love freebies, don't we, Sarah? Right, okay. So I have a goodie bag here and it has all kinds of things in it. And I just want to say very quickly, Christ himself, for lack of a better expression, is our goodie bag. When we came into Christ with him, God gave us everything just like Adam and Eve, that they needed for their spiritual and physical well-being. All of it, God gave us in Christ. So this bag is our salvation package in Christ. And everything you need is in here. Let's see what's in this bag. Nutella. Yummy. Right? So let's assume that this is a lifetime supply of Nutella. Okay. And Nutella. You love Nutella, don't you? I just had it this morning. Ooh, see? So plenty of Nutella for you going forward. Let's say this is a lifetime supply of Nutella and you never have to buy Nutella again. Now track with me, right? Let's assume that Nutella is healing and we know it's in our goodie bag. It's there. We know and I'm going to show you. Sarah, if I give you Nutella now and I give you this goodie bag, when you want Nutella, what do you do? I'll go to it and... Do you come back to me and say, Auntie, can I have Nutella? Mm. No, 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 no. Uh, since it's mine, I'll just go get it. Exactly. Okay, so after I've given you Nutella, mm -hmm. but you then call me on the phone and say, Auntie, can I have Nutella? What do you think my expression would be? What would I say? What do you think? You'll be annoyed. I'll be saying. annoyed, yeah? I could, yes. yeah. Already given it. Exactly. Me, so okay, so I could be annoyed. That's the extreme. If I'm being yes. sweet, I'll be like, um, very gently and slowly. I try to spell it out. Sarah, I've already given you uh, Nutella, and I'll probably like enunciate so you can read my lips, right? Cool. Okay, so we're, we're th we've said this is a goodie bag. Christ, it came all came with Christ. That's what God does. He provides everything in advance, pre-packaged. Healing, smarties, Ooh, wealth. It's in the goodie bag, Christ. A long life. You know, Christ died 
at 30 so we could live long on this earth and live his life. Long life. It's in the goodie bag jam. I put some savory here. Humility. Some things that we don't really like, you know. It's in the goodie bag. We're exactly like Christ. He was humble, remember? Yes. He's already put it in the goodie bag. What about this one? Sometimes you don't like going to school. Book. It's already in the goodie bag. What's this one? Patience and perseverance. Yeah. It's in the goodie bag. All of it is in the goodie bag. All of it. And so Sarah comes back to me to ask for these things. I said, sometimes I'll be angry. Sometimes if I'm really patient, I'll just remind her. But what God really wants for us is to say, God, thank you that I'm healed. And that's it. Amen. Do you remember what Paul said in that scripture? He said, Amen. Paul says, Amen. If the promises are done, we say, Amen. Amen. So if sickness hits your body, you say, Amen, I am healed. And I am not taking that from you, devil. If you need Nutella for your bread, you don't start saying, Mom, go to Aldi. No, Auntie gave me a lifetime supply of Nutella. So I go in the cupboard and I take Nutella. It is done. Now listen to how amazing the God you and I serve is. For all the other things that you're not sure whether he has already provided. This is the best I could find representing something. There's a little touch in here. It represents his power that works in us. And he promised us that when we ask and we think and we imagine, we will get much more than those things according to his power that is in us. So it's all here. Sarah, this is yours. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out, okay? I hope that that illustration has helped you. So ask yourself, what is in my goodie bag? Some of us, it, this will affect how you pray. Oh, yes. Come on. Because we're constantly begging God for things he's already yes. done. Yes. And like Sarah and Nutella, huh, I think, oh my goodness, how else can I send somebody to teach them that they already have it? Some are still debating healing is not for today. It's already in the goodie bag. Healing, wholeness, wealth, provision, wisdom, humility, meekness, righteousness, perfection, answered prayers, the list is endless. All in the goodie bag. Yes. 